We are nearing the conclusion of the race, running one and two in the middle of your screen. The defending champion on the left and a worthwhile challenger who last year on the right actually finished in a position in a top 50, just 45th. That's Kiplagat, and he's got a chance to win this. But the kick you mentioned earlier might be critical for the defending champion. For both of them, they both have strong kicks, but that is what we've heard, that Simon Bayrou has been practicing this the whole season visualizing this, making sure he knows that he can kick strong the last 300, 400 meters of this race. They're huge, Leo. You can get 10. Come on. Oh, I love this guy's emotion right here. You need it. You need it from the sidelines as well as in the race. Go now. Come on. Ah, yeah. Did you ever hear that before? Oh, I've heard it so much. And you know what? You don't care how bad it hurts, but it does hurt so bad, and you just have to get through it. Let's take your leader. What's he thinking at this point? I think he's trying to make this final move. I mean, he's definitely opened it up a little bit, and he seems like he's just ready to get get rolling here. He hasn't opened up fully yet. His stride isn't fully, you know, out there like it will be in the next 200 meters, I think. But he's putting his move on. He's getting ready to go. Starting to separate himself from number two, Kiplagat, and for Richard, a great race run, but you're getting the impression it will not be enough. No, and now I can see he's starting to get up on his toes as much as he can in cross country. In track, it's a lot easier, but in cross country, he's trying to get going. He's trying to lift his knees and use his arms, and he's having a blast down this final stretch. There's nothing like coming down the final stretch of the NCAAs. All right, you've been there, and you've done that. Let's uh, get in the heart of a champion. <laughs> it's an amazing moment, Jim. Something I wish I could do day in and day out, but it doesn't happen that way. And Simon still is looking over his shoulder. Any concern? Well, you know, he's got a lot going on behind him, and he knows these guys can come back. But I think he's just making sure he's okay. He's going to maybe celebrate a little bit and enjoy this moment. And here comes the moment. He can see the finish now. He's getting ready. There it is. He knows it. Congratulations, Simon Bayrou from the University of Wisconsin, back-to-back -back champion. Richard Kiplagat from Iona College with a wonderful performance, and now here comes an important third-place finish for Wisconsin. Selinski, Chris Selinski finishing third, knows how to win. He won the 3,000 in the NCAAs last year. This is a long race for him, and he ran really well. In fourth place from Tiny Liberty, Josh McDougal, 14th last year, Fourth this year, what a remarkable story. He is a remarkable story, but I think even more remarkable is this Wisconsin team. Number 811, Matt Withrow finishing, and now we have our fourth Wisconsin guy. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I can't get over how, now they're fifth, then they're sixth. It's a Wisconsin party, isn't it? It is. And it's the emotion that grabs you right here. You know, no matter what, when you run a race, you're pretty emotional. Just the, the emotions running through your body. But to have all your teammates there waiting for you, watching you, and knowing that you've won a national title, there's nothing like it. When you ran, uh, the phrase that's used before is it's like a family, is it? It is a family, and these guys are hugging. They don't care who's watching right now. They've put in so much hard work. They're enjoying this moment, and let's let them. And they're your runaway winner for the national championship. Let's meet the champion, University of Wisconsin Badgers. Can you tell us how it went? Are you so pumped? This was an awesome effort yeah. by everybody. This is what we came here for. This is what we trained You're for all year. Man. You're all year we worked together. We worked as hard as we could. We sweated. We, we had fights because we were a brotherhood. <laughs> and it was worth it. Everything. I love these guys to death. Man. We, brothers, we, man. we worked our off for it. We deserve everything we get. Simon, what? You want to take it from us today? <laughs> Wait, where did you win this? Uh, it was tough. I'd say about 800 to go. This is my last cross country race as a badge, and I was going to lose my last race. What did it feel like to have your brothers right behind you right there? I, I can't even explain it right now. You know, when I saw Chris behind me and Withrow and these guys coming in, it was just, that's what it's about. That's what cross country is about. It's a team. Great job, guys. Way to go. Dominant performance by the 2005 NCAA champions, finishing second individually, Kiplagat. Oh, the last the 800 meters was, uh, was becoming tough, and my legs could not really take me beyond that. I did my best here and uh, my opponent was able to outkick me the last 800 and you know that's how there is. Are you pleased with today? Very much. This is my great uh, performance so far and I'm uh, very happy. Very Congratulations. Happy. Thanks very much. 14th last year, 4th this year, Josh McDougall. 
All right, Josh, how'd it go today? Uh, it was a good day. It didn't go out exactly as fast as we expected it would, so um, Wes and I kind of ended up just leading the first 6 or 7K. And I guess around 7K, I, I could feel the race starting to break open. Somebody yelled, there's like five guys with a gap, so here now or never. So when we rounded the corner and started going uphill, which is a strength of mine, I uh, tried to break it open, and I guess I just got it down to three guys there. Well, congratulations. You still ran awesome. Yeah, it was a good day. It felt great. Following Josh in position five, Keating, then Rowatinsky six, point seven, Benninger eighth, Withrow ninth, and Cesareth from Arizona in the tenth spot. All Badgers all afternoon long. There are five runners in the top 15 for a total score of 37 points, a phenomenal win by 68 over Arkansas, Irish third, Iona fourth. Carrie and I come back. It's the women's turn for the cross country championship. We're back in.